Russia prepares thousands of tanks and armored vehicles and hundreds of fighter jets for offensive. Here's a summary of the article. Russian occupiers have prepared 1,800 tanks, 3,950 armored vehicles, 2,700 artillery systems, 810 multiple rocket launch systems, 400 fighter jets, and 300 helicopters ready for a new offensive operation in Ukraine. Quote. Russia has also begun arming up and digging in for a coming offensive. The Ukrainian military estimates that Russia already has 1,800 tanks, 3,950 armored vehicles, 2,700 artillery systems, 810 Soviet-era multiple rocket launch systems such as Grad and Smirch, 400 fighter jets, and 300 helicopters ready for a new wave of attacks. Details. Ukrainian officials estimate that Russian forces inside the country have surpassed the 300,000 mark. Estimates of Russia's presence in Ukraine are significantly higher than the invading force that Russian President Vladimir Putin used to invade the country last February, and this time, they are highly concentrated in eastern Ukraine. Analysts and Ukrainian officials expect the brewing offensive to focus on eastern Ukraine. Alexei Reznikov, Ukraine's defense minister, has stated that the country's defense forces expect Russian offensive operations before the symbolic date of 24 February, when the full-scale invasion began. However, he urged people to trust only official information. The Financial Times, with reference to an unnamed advisor to the armed forces of Ukraine, has reported that Russia plans to launch a new large-scale offensive within the next 10 days. This post received a score of 7,500, with an up-vote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Imagine having to do a show of force offensive for the one-year anniversary of the invasion you expected to last a few days. This is how Russia has fought almost every one of their wars historically, and I wish analysts that came out and predicted this conflict unfolding exactly how it is had gotten more exposure. Russians never have a positive ratio with their service members, they always rely on easy-to-replace, mass-produced equipment and have no problem throwing wave after wave until they slowly steamroll and exhaust their opponents. This strategy has horrifically worked against them. They had severe demographic problems before Ukraine for doing the exact same thing in Afghanistan. They do not have the population to throw away in their army and maintain anything remotely resembling the economic forces needed to support one. Every troop they send to Ukraine is another nail in the coffin of Russia's future. Should also mention the flight out of Russia of the smartest of the youth. Russia future is just more of, and then it got worse. Putin never stopped smart young people from leaving, they were his biggest long-term threat. I cannot fathom that this current lineup of military equipment is any better than the initial wave of outdated, poorly maintained hardware they started this war with. I would assume this new offensive contains even older stuff. Granted, even a musket rifle can kill. It's not better equipment, but if they concentrate enough force in one place they might achieve something. The initial invasion happened all over the place. However since Ukraine is also now better prepared than a year ago, I doubt the Russian offensive will get very far. I worry about overconfidence. The initial Russian offense was an absolute shit show, but just as the Ukrainians are better prepared, the Russians have learned lessons and will make fewer egregious unforced errors on the order of the 40-mile suicide convoy. I predict this won't be the cakewalk so many here seem confident it will be. It'll be brutal, with heavy losses on both sides, and probably some territorial loss for Ukraine. Hopefully not too much before the Ukrainians can launch a counter-attack in a few months in Western IFVs and MBTs. Flip side is that the Ukrainians have an absolute ton of very, very accurate artillery, a crazily good artillery management system, and a lot more anti-air capabilities than they had a year ago. Even a very concentrated Russian offensive could very quickly become a gigantic Russian bloodbath, especially as they've lost a huge number of their Pathfinder, shock, engineering troops that you need to make a spearhead and to get it to stick. You can't replace elite recon forces and logistics experts with three-month trained Mobix and expect the same result. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.